Hello, Darlene Johnson Callaway here with another digital tutorial for you. And today we're going to be looking at gradients. And gradients are a fun little uh, way to blend colors together. And you might not have used them, and they're really a lot of fun. So um, we're going to be working with this fish image. Um, it's a transparent PNG image from Club Scrap Digital, and it's in their uh, February 2009 artifacts kit, and it's really a fun image to work with. So um, let's first take a look at the gradient tool. And this is your gradient tool right here. And when you click on the gradient tool, the option that comes up is the foreground to background color. And if we create a new layer here, and we just uh, click and drag here, you'll see that it goes from the foreground to the background. If we click up, down and go up, then it goes black to white. If we change one of these colors here, like change the foreground to red, and double click here and change the background to green, when we now click and drag up, you see it goes from red to green, or when we click down, it'll go from, uh, well, green to red. So there's also um, other um, different modes that you can set it on. If you click, this is the, the first setting, the linear gradient. Right here is the uh, circular gradient. And when you click um, in the center and drag out, you get a circle with a, a color. This one right here gives you this type of effect. Um, this one right here will give you one color to the other color. I'll try it down here so you can see it a little better. And then this one will give you kind of a a triangle in the middle. You can rotate around and play with it. But it's uh, it, they're, they're, they're a lot of fun to play with. But let's uh, actually create something with a gradient and we'll, uh, I'll show you how to change the colors to create your own custom colors. So we'll just delete this layer and um, we'll go ahead and create another layer. And now let's click on the downward facing arrow here. And here are other options that you'll see. Here's the first one that we worked on, which was the um, foreground to the background color. Here is the foreground to a transparent color. And then here are some other presets. Um, you've got black to white, um, different ones throughout here. If you double click on this out or the double faced arrow here, you can also load up different gradients. And if you search on the internet, you can find different um, places that have different preset gradients that you might want to use. But let's go ahead and, and click on this one right here, which has like three different colors in it. And we're going to edit this. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this edit key and the ed uh, gradient editor will come up. And you can see here that this is the blue, red, yellow gradient. And what I would like to do is I would like to change this gradient into this gradient, uh, use these colors up here that are in this um, beautiful sticker. So what you to do that, you double click on the, um, on the color box to get the color picker to open up. And once that box um, pops up. You can go over here to select different colors by hand or what I like to do to get my stuff to color coordinate is I will actually go over and just pick up a color that is in my layout. Then my stuff all co color coordinates and click OK to accept that. Then we'll go down here to the red box, double click on that and we'll, we'll pick out a different color of red. We'll pick out this color of red right in here just a little bit different. And then on the yellow box, we're going to pick that teal color that is in this layout over here. So now you can see our gradient now goes from a blue to a red to a teal color. And if I wanted to, I could click on save and save this preset so that I could use it again at a later date. But I'm not going to save it right now. So now let's uh, click back over here on our um, on our fish to make it our active layer. And we have a new layer right here. And we have our gradient selected. And I'm going to use the linear gradient. So I'll click on here. And what we can do is um, if we just clicked and dragged, it would cover up our whole image. So we don't want to do that. And I'll click do control Z to undo that. What we're going to do is we're going to go control click on the thumbnail of the fish to create marching ants around that image only. And now when we go up to our layer 2 and we click and drag, you can see that 
I'll um, hide our marching ants by going control H so that you can see the different things. You can see that our fish now is uh, colored differently and when we drag it we can change how it looks. I actually kind of like that. So now we have this beautiful fish that is gradient colored from blue to red to teal and it perfectly coordinates with our layout. Now um, I liked the little bit of black that was in the image but I still want my color to show through so what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click on the fish and I'm going to go select and I'm going to modify my selection and I'm going to contract it and I'm going to contract it by about four pixels and now what I'm going to do is on my original fish that was just black and white, I'm going to go control J. And now what I've done is I've created a selection that's slightly smaller than my fish. And I can change the opacity of this layer by dragging this down. And you can see now that we have just a little bit of more um, dark detail in it. And here it is with it, and I mean without it and with it. So um, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with gradients, and uh, I just thought I would uh, introduce a little bit about gradients today. I hope that helped you. Until next time.